Hey all, welcome back to Edulo and today we are going to build today we are going to build a racing game. Yes, a racing game. So first let's see the demo of the game and let's start building it. So we have to press space to start. So this is the game which we are creating today. You can see that there is a timer also. And as soon as it clashes with any of the car, then I am lost. But if the timer is 44, if the timer is equal to actually 44, then what's going to happen? Then I am going to win. So, it's a pretty hard game but it's a very nice game. It's an amazing game. It's doctor running game. Like if we can say, So well, let's start building this game and by the end of this game, after you finish make this game, the thing which you will be expert in are creating screens in game lab also, then random objects, then how to make it move continuously, how to make infinite background, how to make appear all the cars randomly. And how to create timer and all these things you would be an expert. So follow this tutorial completely if you want to create your own racing game and become an expert in game lab. So the sprites which you will be needing are these are sprites. Quickly upload them. The link of these sprites are given in description. Quickly upload all these sprites. We can't move ahead with without the sprites. So let's define variable first variable load variable load in the position two hundred and five two hundred then load dot set animation. Is equal to let's see the name where you will upload then the names will automatically come so don't worry the road dot png by one so let's draw the sprites let's check hmm. well I think we need to scale it and also increase its width and height. So let's increase its width and height. So row dot width is equal to one thousand and row dot height is equal to one thousand. Let's reset it in there now. Oh gosh, now it's too large. So now we will scale it. To zero point five. Let's reset and then now, now it's all fine. Next, so here what we have done here we have created the road. Next, what are we doing? Now let's create all the random cars. Create. So here we are creating all random cars. All random cars and the main car. So let's create. Car two hundred three hundred set animation to it and 
r.png let's check it's large right its size is too large so we will scale it now it's fine now we will copy it and we are going to paste it five more times variable car 2 in the position 100 200 and here now car number 3 in the position first it's correct this all and position 325 and 350 now car number 4 the position 50 30 now car number 5 in the position 350 and 85 And car number 6 in the position 110. Let's reset and run to check. Yes, it's fine. It's all fine, right? Next work what we have to do. Screen number 2. We will go to screen number 2. This press page to start. We have to do this. Right? So, we are covering all of these cars right now with a space and whenever the user presses space we will make this screen number 2 as visible to folks so variable sprite is equal to create sprite in the position 200 200 and sprite dot Set animation is screen number two and sprite dot scale is equal to two thirty one. Okay, so it's not screen two, it's screen two dot png the name. Yes, now it's fine. Now if we remove the scale, then if it's fine, let's check. Yeah, but we can put it, it doesn't matter if we put or not because one is also. Next, what are we doing is, let's make the car controls. Let's make the car control. So for the car control, we are doing right now key movements. So for this we will be adding an if statement. I hope you are able to see it clearly. You should have do more. Let me know in the comments if you are not that from the next video I am going to zoom it more. So if key down is equal to up 
टेन कार डॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू कार डॉट एक्स प्लस टेन आई एम सो सॉरी सो सॉरी ये वी हैव टू राइट राइट इट्स अ कमिंग होमोफोनियम राइट राइट ये वी हैव टू आर आई जी एच टी ये वी हैव टू राइट राइट ओ गॉड लेट मी टेल यू यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड Here we have to write, write. Okay. Here we have to write, write it for more volume, so it is confusing. So next, do let do for left. Let's do for left, and it is easy. Just put it minus. So let's check. First, we have to make it plus page to start all this. Let's do that. Well, before that, we need to create some of the variables also. Let's create some of the more variables. That would be first variable would be. Timer, then variable timer two, then variable time, and then variable game state. Which right now one? We can say variable game state or variable not anything you just want. Actually, matter the name could be any. So right now, what are we doing is, so after draw sprites, we are writing after draw sprites that if the key down is equal to space, if the key down is equal to space, then what's going to happen? Then the timer two, the variable which we define. Is equal to world dot seconds and the game state is equal to two. I want you all to write and then let's add one if statement that if game state is equal to two, then what's going to happen? Then First thing which will happen is timer is equal to that we do later. First, let's do that. The sprite which we created as screen number two is visible is equal to false. Let's check space yes. Right? See space yes is all fine. Now let's make it velocities. So for all the cars, we are adding velocity. So car two dot velocity y is equal to ten. Copy it and paste it for car number three, car number four, car number five, car number six. So let's check. Yes, see it's moving and it's giving such a visual effect. The visual effect which it is giving is that the background is actually infinite, right? See, so it's moving and it's giving such type of visual effect. And the timer which we created, the variable timer, that is actually equal to timer is equal to world dot second. Minus that timer two, which has been defined here. Now let's add the timer text. We have to add right now timer text. So 
so you have to add that the text color should be white text size should be 20 text should be time is equal to timer plus timer in the position 10 10 80 20 and the text one should be courier name let's run and check space so well The timer is not visible. We will figure it out. Is it after draw spells? Yes, still we will figure it out. No worries. It was showing but it disappeared. Did you notice? No problem, we will figure this out when we will make a complete game. Till now, it's fine. Now, let's create the winning one that when it wins. So, for that, after, before the draw spread, we will write like this that if the timer is greater than 44, then really it is going to create a new screen at a variable screen 3. And it is set animation to screen 3. Dot png and screen 3 dot is equal to 1 then now what we can do is in, we can go to our screen simple screen and here we can rename it to simply screen then next what are we doing is for the over part that when it should crash it clashes part so after this key movement Let's add the clashes. If card is touching card number 2, if our card is touching card number 2, then it is going to show a variable screen and it's going to set animation to simple screen. And also, what we can do is to avoid writing it 5 more times, we can simply add here if statement. That if card is checking card number two or or statement, and if you don't have getting this in a keyboard, then you will find it here in toolbox here. Here, okay, fine. So here we have to write. So copy it and paste it. Card number three. Car number four, car number five. Is it any mistake? Um, wait, here it could be, yeah. Here the mistake is. Car number five, no, let's give a car number. Now let's check. So as soon well wait. So then what's going to happen is so we did for classes also. So let's do now that no cars should overlap each other. So for that we are writing one statement that if the car 2 is touching car number 3, if car 2 is touching car number 3, then car 2 with y position is going to be a random number and its x position is going to be a random number. So let's do this for all. So add here if all statement. Let's do for car 4. Car 4, Car 5, 
and column six. So here we are doing for here we are to make sure car two is not overlapping. other cars and the same thing we are going to do for rest of our cars the same thing we are going to do for our rest of the cars to make sure we can build cars are not overlapping other so we will copy the same line for car number 3 So here car number two see here car number two and car number three is done. So we will remove this statement because it's already done for in car number two. Now car number when car number three is touching car number four and when car number three is touching car number five and when car number three is touching car number six. Now we will copy this statement. And we will paste it for car number 4. If car number 4 is touching, car number 4 of course this won't be there. So we will remove the statement. If car number 4 is touching car number 5 and if car number 4 is touching car number 6, then it's going to come to its random position. Now let's do this for car number 5. If car number 5 is touching car number 5, of course it won't be there, so we'll remove this statement. If car number 5 is touching car number 6, then its position would be random. And copy it. Do if car number 6, of course it won't be there, car number 6 to remove this, there is no for sale because all are done above only so done let's create the car loops right now so we are doing that if car number two its y position exceeds this position 405 then it's going to come to its random position okay let's do this for the rest also so we will simply copy it and paste it for car number three Now we will paste it for car number 4. The thing we paste it for car number 3. Now we will copy it and paste it for car number 5 and car number 6. Car number 5, car number 6. Also we need to add one more if statement. That if the car's x position is greater than 405, our car, which our game main car, then again, if, if it exceeds this position, then it will come back here. Right? Now, what are we doing? Is we are going back and checking our post. So, here this statement would actually come before draw threads. Here it will come. So well, whenever we run our game, we can see that it is showing view load. There must be an error here. So here instead of 200 and 300, we have to write 350 and 85. Because it's already clashing, that is why it's showing such. Now let's reset. And run. Let like press space to start. Okay, you do. There is some problem with timer, right? Let's figure it out. 
but this game is working smoothly. Yes, it's working smoothly. So let's work out with the timer. Um, well, I think Well, there's an error. So, will I think that here maybe there could be indentation issues? Let's run now. Yes, now it's showing. So, it could be indentation issues or our error code issues. Now it's working all fine. So, our game, racing car game, is all ready. So, well, I lose, but you can win. With this, we end our today's tutorial.